Cultivator, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered what exactly gets verified during the employment verification process after you've accepted an offer letter? I have a lot of job seekers who come to me and they get really concerned and worried because they omitted information on their resume. Maybe they found themselves laid off or they got fired or they found themselves in a position less than six months and they're worried about being perceived as a job hopper or perhaps it just wasn't a good fit and they're worried that when the future organization calls upon these past employers, they aren't necessarily going to be singing their praises. So they're wondering, is it okay to leave off certain employment information when it comes down to the wire? In this video, I'll be breaking down exactly what the employment verification is and why it's so important to employers, and then we'll talk about exactly what gets verified. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit like and subscribe because we are going to release a new video every Thursday centered around job search tips, mindset tools, and the latest career strategies to help you elevate your life and your career. Alright, let's talk about what the employment verification process is and why it's so important to employers. So up until now, you probably are a stranger to this new organization. They may have never worked with you before and they have to take what you've put out there and represented as face value. Because they don't know you and because we've all heard of those tales in the past where, you know, a CEO has been fired or let go because they lied about the university that they attended or completely made up a degree. A lot of companies just want to know that they can trust you for who it is that you say you are. And so the best way to do this is with an employment verification process. So let's switch gears here and talk about what is happening on the back end. So you've accepted the offer, now it's time to go through the employment verification process and either the company has had an application that you've already filled out online, you've signed it, you've said all of this is accurate and true, and boom, like that is what they're going to use to verify the information as they call the different companies and schools that you attended. Now, a lot of times companies also outsource this part to companies such as HireRight, which is a very popular one. And sometimes those companies will have you fill out your own profile all over again or fill out an application. And so that's what they're going to be using to verify what you've submitted is accurate and complete. The important thing to note here is that they're not verifying your resume or your LinkedIn profile. At the end of the day, those are marketing tools. You're marketing yourself a certain way. It's not necessarily this legally binding document that the applications are. So just FYI, because I get a lot of those questions from job seekers, do I need to include this? I was there for a short stint or, you know, my titles don't necessarily match up or I clustered all of these jobs together. That's okay. Your resume and your LinkedIn are very separate from what is actually being verified. So switching gears to what is being verified, essentially when a company is calling your previous employers, they want to verify three things. One, did you actually indeed work for this company and what was your title? What was your dates of employment? When did you start to when did you end? And a fourth that sometimes gets asked is, are you eligible for rehire? And that's a yes or no question. When it comes to education, what is typically being verified is you actually graduated from the college and university that you said you did did, what was the years that you attended and what was the degree that you walked away with and sometimes what is the GPA that you graduated with. So knowing that these are the key pieces that are being verified, you want to make sure that whatever you're including on the application is 100% accurate to what they're going to hear on the other side of the phone when they verify. If you're not entirely sure, you're fuzzy about some details, you're unclear about the last official title that you had at the company, pick up the phone and call HR and let them know, you know, here's my situation. I want to make sure that during an employment verification, what I've submitted is accurate. Can you tell me the answers to these following questions? So just to recap, at the end of the day, all they're doing is verifying what you have submitted in terms of the information, and they're verifying that what you have submitted is 100% accurate to what they've obtained. And if there's any misinformation, there's any discrepancies, there's going to be a red flag in your file, and basically they're going to start examining your background under a microscope. So to avoid all of that and eliminate that, you just wanna make sure that your facts is 100% true 
through and you'll avoid any delays in the hiring process. Again, this is all companies really have to go off of to understand whether or not you're representing yourself accurately. You just want to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward in the process. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it and enjoyed it, please be sure to give this a like and don't forget to share this video. And of course, if you need more help in your job search process, be sure to click on the link in the description box below. There are a ton of free resources for you. And until then, continue to cultivate your life and your career. Thank you.